Hello, and thank you for your interest in the CTE Research Network Practitioner Training Modules, Resources for Understanding and Using Career and Technical Education Data and Research. In these next slides, we will share with you information about our six practitioner training modules, as well as how to find them and how to get connected with the CTE Research Network. My name is Sharice Moore, and I am a principal TA consultant with the American Institutes for Research. And some of the areas that I focus on are career technical education and adult education, providing training and TA to practitioners. And as a former CTE teacher, it is and CTE administrator, it is my absolute pleasure to be able to share this session with you to help you learn about the CTE Research Network Practitioner Training Modules. So some background. This training was developed by the CTE Research Network, and the CTE Research Network is supported by the Institute of Education Sciences at the U.S. Department of Education, with funds provided under the Carl D. Perkins Career and Technical Education Act through a grant to the American Institutes for Research. Network activities are directed toward increasing the number of CTE impact studies and strengthening the capacity of the field to conduct and use rigorous CTE research. AIR and its partners, the Association for Career and Technical Education, ACTE, JFF, and Vanderbilt University serve as the CTE Research Network lead. Our mission is to provide the evidence base on the impact of CTE programs on student outcomes by increasing the number of CTE impact studies performed, strengthening field capacity to conduct and use rigorous CTE research, and you will find that the modules that we are talking about today, the practitioner training modules, really focus on that second bullet strengthening field capacity to conduct and use rigorous CTE research, and it supports the, those activities through bullet one, which is our overall goal of increasing the number of CTE impact studies performed. So the purpose of the practitioner training modules is really for you. It's to support practitioners and policymakers in understanding and using data and research, particularly causal research. It's designed for state and district level CTE practitioners, policymakers, really anyone who can use data and research to inform decision making and support continuous improvement efforts. Our main goal and mission is to expand the evidence base. And related to that, we want to bring practitioners and researchers together so that we can better share research and understand research needs. Research, as you know, it can be used in so many ways to inform policy, to understand program effects, and to drive program improvement. But what we have learned and what I know from my own experience as a practitioner is that we don't always have the research background that can help to show the impacts of our work. So through these training modules, we really want to support practitioners in understanding and using not just research, but causal research. You will learn about best practices and data collection and organization and how that can help improve data systems and support our use of data so that we can make informed state and local decisions about CTE. So let's jump right into these training modules. There are six modules that we are developing and it's the series of six training modules is really designed to support CTE educators in learning more about data and research. The modules need not be viewed in this order, 
but we do suggest that you consider doing so if you are planning to complete the entire series. So the six modules that we have, the first one is understanding CTE data and why it matters. Then we have using data and research to improve CTE programs. CTE program evaluation, why it matters to practitioners. Using state data to partner with researchers. Using research to design your CTE program for equity. And finally, how to communicate about your CTE program using research. These modules each contain their own PowerPoint slides, their own handouts and activities, and a facilitator's guide. They are going to be anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour long in length. As we said earlier, they are self-contained. They don't have to be viewed sequentially. They can be delivered online, in person, in a group setting, or individually. And while they are self-contained, we do want you to know that they build in complexity. And so later modules will draw on the terminology that has been used in earlier ones and the definitions that have been defined in earlier ones. But because we want them to really be self-contained, we do have a glossary of terms that will accompany each of the modules. In the next several slides, I will go through each of the modules, sharing with you the objectives for them and giving you a little bit of a feel for what they're all about. So let's take a look and start with module one understanding CTE data and why it matters. So with this module, you will be able to better understand what CTE data are and how research can be used to improve CTE programs. You'll also be able to connect data to federal accountability requirements contained within the Strengthening Career and Technical Education for the 21st Century Act also referred to as Perkins 5. In addition, you'll be able to define what evidence-based research is, understand why it's important, and know where to find it. This module contains real-world examples that will be offered to help you connect theory into practice. And so you'll see the objectives here on the screen. The goal of this module is that by the end of it, you'll be able to answer fundamental questions about data and research for CTE programs, connect data to Perkins 5 requirements, define evidence-based research, understand why it's important and where to find it, and then understand real-world examples of CTE data and research. And that's how we get you started. And then we move to module two, but with this module, on using data and research to improve CTE program objectives, you'll have a better understanding of how data and research can be used to improve programs and how to access this information. You'll also learn how a continuous improvement process can be launched. This is going to help you focus on short and long-term planning and you'll be provided again with real world examples and tested tools to undertake this work. Our goal is within each of the modules to have real examples to support the connection from theory to practice. The objectives in this module, again, understanding how data and research are used to improve programs, how to access and use research relevant to CTE programs, learning about the continuous improvement model, as it applies to CTE, and then looking at short and long-term program planning. Module three, CTE program evaluation and why it matters to practitioners. And in this module, you will be able to define educational impact and what it means to have an impact and CTE. Here through this module you'll understand 
the different performance measures and program evaluations. You'll be able to explain why program evaluation is valuable for CTE programs and understand the different types of evaluations and their purposes. Finally, in this module, you'll learn about logic models. You'll find out what they are and how to use one to assess and determine program outcomes. Examples of best practices in program evaluation will also be shared so that you can see real examples of this at work. Module four is on using state data to partner with researchers. And in this module, you'll be able to describe why states should partner with researchers and understand how to include CTE data in your state's accountability system and state longitudinal data system. You'll also be able to explain how states can partner with researchers and have a real strong understanding of how to use real world examples to showcase how a partnership with a researcher can work and benefit you and your program. So the objectives in this module, again, why you should consider partnering with the researcher, how to include CTE data in accountability systems and state longitudinal data systems, ways in which you can partner with researchers, and again, showcasing real world examples for how research partnerships really can work. Next, we have module five, using research to design your CTE program for equity. This is an exciting module for us and one that we hope you find exciting too. In this module, you'll have a better understanding of how research can be used to improve equity in CTE programs. You'll also learn about concepts of equity in Perkins 5 as they relate to special populations of students. You'll be able to identify underperforming student subgroups and explain the implications of a local equity gap analysis. Most importantly, you will be positioned to understand and apply what the research says about equity in CTE. The objectives for this module include defining special populations, identifying underperforming student subgroups, explaining the implications of a local equity gap analysis, understanding and applying what the research says about equity and CTE, using Perkins 5 data to, to disaggregate the requirements to improve equity outcomes, explain the difference between equitable access and equitable outcomes, and you'll be able to determine best practices for closing the CTE opportunity gap and ensuring equity in your CTE programs. And our sixth module, the final module, is on how to communicate about your CTE program using research objectives. In this module, you will learn many effective strategies for communicating your research findings to a variety of different audiences and stakeholders. This will help you be able to successfully publicize your CTE program's value. You will also understand techniques for communicating instructional benefits based on real world examples. The module objectives here, again, communicating out. So much good information about what we are doing in our CTE programs doesn't get communicated out. And a focus of this module is to help you with communicating your program's value and the research findings to others who may be decision makers around your program. And we will use some real world examples to show you what's possible as you are communicating about your CTE program. So let's share where you will be able to find them when they are completed. So I will start by sharing that we expect the modules to be available to you 
early in 2021. There are six and some are ready now and some will be ready soon hereafter. So we may be posting them in partial postings or we may wait and do them all at the same time. That is still to be determined. But they will be available in two places. And this is going to be one of them, the CTE Research Network website. You'll see the link at the top and you can use this link to go to the training section on our website. And within that, right in the middle, you will see the practitioner training modules and you'll see that they are coming soon. So cteresearchnetwork.org forward slash training, right in the middle of the page there, you will see the six modules will be listed there shortly. The other great place that you can find them is on the ACTE website. You'll find them at the ctelearn.org part of the ACTE website. There, if you click on that link, you will see that these are a part of the free resources that will be available for you as practitioners to access and use at any time. So two places that you will have our modules available for you. And we hope that that will make it easy for you to use them and access them. Again, look for them at the beginning of 2021. So finally, I want to encourage you to connect with the network. We would love for you to connect with the network. You can learn about and stay informed about when the modules will go live, but also about research and CTE in general. We want to make sure, again, our purpose is to providing a place where we can increase the the capacity of the field to conduct and use CTE research. And by having you connect with the network, you will help us to do that. And there are four easy ways that you can connect with us. As you'll see on the screen here, you can visit our website at any time, cteresearchnetwork.org. You can follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn and get all of the news and updates of what's happening. You can sign up on the website for our mailing list. And you can also just email us at cteresearchnetwork at aar.org and we will get you connected with the network. Thank you so very, very much.